Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video we're going to learn about users. So users are actually really simple. So just like Windows or Mac, your computer can have different users. Now a user of course is just anyone who uses the computer. So if I was setting up this computer for my family, I might have a user account for me, maybe one for my brother, maybe one for my mom, my sister, whatever. So basically anyone that uses the computer is a user simple enough now the reason that we want to create different accounts is because these users usually have restrictions on which files they can access so if I had a company I could have a group of users that were uh, like my front-end guys so they could only access the HTML files the web design and for my back-end guys those users could access you know the PHP files the database so it's a nice way to you know restrict access for each group of people. Now, whenever you use Linux, there is a couple things you need to understand. First is that there is always a super user who is named root. Now, the super user can do anything. So, whenever you like if you're the owner of the entire server, you always have root or super user access. Now, you may be thinking, "All right. So, I just bought my own server, I'm the only one on it. I'm setting up my own site. I'm just going to use root, this main account all the time, and that way I'll be able to do anything. Sounds great, right? But even if you want full control over your server and you're the only one accessing it, you usually don't want to log in as root. And that's because even though they can do anything, that's not usually a good thing because there are a lot of system files that you don't want to accidentally delete or accidentally edit. So, like I said, even if you're the core uh, single system administrator on a server, you usually create another account that, um, you know, can't accidentally mess up any system files. And then if you ever want to, you know, actually run a system command with full super user privileges, then you just use sudo or sudo like we saw in the last video, and you can do that. So that's what people usually do. So let me show you the basics of how to add a new user, how to manage the groups and whatnot. So right now let me just make sure I'm in my home directory and let me just, uh, I don't know, navigate to the desktop. I'll show you guys a few things. So let me visually do this so you guys can see what's going on. So let's make a new document and I'll just name this like a uh, corn and I'll just write I am corn whatever. Just something stupid in there. All right, so we got one file just for demonstrating. And if I ever do this, ls minus la, and look at that file, check it out. We already know what a lot of stuff is, the date it's created, um, the name of it, whatever. And then we see these two things, Bucky, Bucky. Hmm, all right, well, we know I'm logged in as Bucky, but why would it say it twice? Well, whenever you're looking at a file like this, again, this first thing, are the permissions already learned about those this name and this name stands for the owner and the group they belong to so of course I am Bucky so I own this file or is this one right here and also I belong to the group Bucky so you can have different groups and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a second but remember this whenever you create a new user for the first time it also automatically creates a group for them with the same name. So if I want to make a group called boys and you know put me and my brother in that and a group called girls and put my sister and my mom in there I could do that. But anyways just remember because a lot of people don't understand why they see the name twice that's what's going on. The owner or the individual user and then the group. So let me clear out of this and let's just go ahead and add a new user. So I'm gonna add uh, my mom is a user on this computer and in order to add a, a new user you need root or super user privileges so since I'm logged in as Bucky I need to call sudo so super user do this and the command for just adding a new user is user add and then their username and her username can just be mom so now I have to say okay make sure that you have the right privileges so I'm just going to type the password and this is just the main password to use to log in and we now added mom mom is a user 
So what I want to do for mom right now is I want to make sure she has a right password. So sudo passwd mom. So I'm going to edit the password for mom and I'll just write give her a password and then when she comes home from work I can say hey mom I made an account this is your password boom you're good to go she's gonna go what the heck are you talking about I have no idea what Linux is come eat your dinner <laughs> but whatever that's my story alright so that's the basics of how users work and I'll actually wait to the next tutorial to uh, show you guys about groups because there's a couple things I want to talk about so there you go see you guys next time